We did this performance as a part of V-Day campaign, which is um, an international event that happens between January and the end of March. It's to raise awareness about and prevention of violence against women and girls. How our campaign started was we were in Dakar on Gori Island and looking at some of the practices that the women who were um, captive would abort their babies as a way to rebel. And one of our students said, uh, just we were just talking about the atrocities and she was curious about women's issues and wanted to learn more. And I have been a part of V-Day campaigns in my own community in Jasper, Alberta, Canada. And we've done performances uh, of the Vagina Monologues, which is another play of stories put on. Um, Eve Ensler is the creator of the Vagina Monologues. She went around the world interviewing women about um, their life experiences. And so she is the creator, the co-founder of uh, V-Day. And so I've done past performances of the Vagina Monologues and I told our student about this and she was really keen and interested. So we st started up our own campaign. And because the memory monologue rant and a prayer also allows for male performers, the Vagina Monologues doesn't have male stories in it, but this one that we chose to do does. We were able to include our uh, stu male student population as performers as well. Um, traditionally, men will help out with the vagina monologues. They'll help out behind the scenes, and um, but the per performers are typically female. But this time, we we made sure there there are several campaigns with V Day, um, and so we made sure that we chose one that would include was inclusive and included all of our all of the people interested in, in raising awareness and speaking about this really important issue. Um, one of the challenges that we ran into was the we're not allowed to change the script. And there were some um, language choices that in a school we typically wouldn't use. However, when we consider the atrocities and the profanities of the acts that we're speaking about, um, that the, the message is that uh, we, we are breaking the silence and um, it's the, the shame and the silence that perpetuates the violence. And so uh, being able to reclaim, especially language, uh, so that it's not used as a weapon is a part of the campaign and, and a part of giving voice to people's stories who may not have been heard before or who were kept silent by shame. All of the funds that we raised today, 100% uh, go back to the cause. So 90% will stay here in Hamilton with the Center Against Abuse, and then 10% gets sent to the V-Day campaign, uh, their annual spotlight campaign. This year it's called One Billion Rising uh, to represent the one billion women and girls in the world. And um, so you can, you can certainly donate by just going and giving to the Center Against Abuse. You can also visit the website vday.org to make donations. And we're heading out, so you can't give us donations, but you can just donate directly to the organizations.